So there's this guy, John Entick, and he's hanging out at home one day when in walks Nathan Carrington and three other government agents. Now they start smashing the place up. They're breaking down doors, they're breaking into boxes because they're looking for materials criticizing the government. As it happens, they don't find any. But not surprisingly, John Entick's not too happy and he takes these guys to court. What the court says ends up being one of the great constitutional cases of all time. The case is about government power and the rule of law. Now, if government agents could just walk into our houses and start looking through our stuff, then powerful people could exercise a lot of control. But in fact, the court in this case said this was an illegal search because there was no law that gave Carrington and the other agents the power to do what they did. That might sound kind of familiar now, but it actually wasn't when this case was decided way back in 1765. The case helped establish what we now call the rule of law, and it's one of the most important principles of our system of government. Last week, the Chief Justice of New Zealand, the Right Honourable Dame Sean Elias, gave Maxim Institute's annual Sir John Graham lecture. She spoke about how important the rule of law is in New Zealand today. When law rules, everybody has to obey it, even the most powerful people in the land. No one's above the law, and the law treats everyone equally. This is part of our constitutional tradition. And even though people often think of tradition as something kind of stuffy, the Chief Justice reminded us that it can be life-giving. But she also told us that our constitutional tradition is fragile. It can be eroded and it can be forgotten. We have to guard against this by remembering and treasuring our constitutional inheritance. Retelling stories like John Entick's is a good place to start.